Foxy friends, welcome by my first YouTube video for Bramble Box. I'm so excited for my first YouTube video and in this video I show you how I made my mixed media scrapbook layout. I use mixed media cardstock for this layout and of course you can use your um, regular cardstock, it's no problem, but my advice is put some uh, first some gesso on the cardstock so you can use with your water and inks. Um, I make my background with the Distress Oxide from Ranger and the color I used is Squeezed Lemonade. Um, I do put something on my uh, craft sheet, mix it with some water and with a little bit of plastic I pick something up and apply it to my cardstock. I do this several times, uh, so you see there uh, is a big spot uh, on my uh, layout. And when I'm done, uh, I make uh, also some splashes with my pencil and uh, with the Distress Oxide Squeezed Lemonade. And when I'm almost done with my background, um, I dry it with my heat tool. And when my background is dry, I cut out some circles from the design paper uh, I, want to, I wanted to use. And I think, okay, it's not enough jello on my background. So uh, again, I apply uh, some jello squeeze lemonade uh, on my background. Uh, and I think it's called the pet packing technique. So I'm done with the jello and I'm going to the second color I want to use for my background and the color is Peacock Feather and um, now I um, put some ink on my uh, craft sheet, uh, mix it with some water and with a sponge this time I apply it to my cardstock um, and when I think now this is enough, enough um, I want to make some splatters with this color. Also, I made some splatters with uh, yellow, yellow color, and now I uh, made some splatters with the blue color. And I love splatters on my work. Um, now we're going to back to the circles. Um, I use my S Distressor from uh, I think it's from Tim Tim Holtz, and I distress the edges uh, of my circles. So now I'm done with the distress the edges from my circles. I want to sew uh, some circles on my uh, layout. And um, there are three circles uh, 
um, that I sew in place and I use gold thread. So now I'm done with my sewing, uh, I choose the perfect picture for uh, my layout and it's a picture for me and my son on holiday vacation with the family in Greece and um, I like this picture very lot and I think it's perfect. Um, I also used a paper bag, a yellow, um, yellow white stripe paper bag and I also use a uh, some uh, leftover design papers um, I love leftover design papers because you create a, a new combination and I love that very much yeah I distress the edges from the design paper and um, also from the paper back and then uh, put it behind my photo I'm looking for the right on my uh, layout and I think that's here and I use the title uh, here uh, comes summer the from the perspectives the acrylic perspectives I love uh, this uh, acrylic perspective a lot it's beautiful uh, eye catcher on my layout and uh, a perfect uh, title for this photo So now it's time to glue my title, my acrylic um, perspective title and I use the glossy accent because it's a very strong glue and that will keep it, the title in, uh, in place. So uh, okay, my title is, um, is uh, fits, it stays on his place and my photo finds the right spot. And now it's time to decorate my uh, scrapbook base and I use die cuts, different die cuts. Um, also um, these die cuts are uh, leftovers and uh, this way with my leftover design paper and my leftover um, die cuts I creating um, uh, beautiful combinations. And I love I love uh, creating new combinations. So 
uh, I'm almost done with uh, I'm almost finished with my scrapbook layout um, I placed some uh, wood uh, veneer stars on my layout uh, for extra uh, touch uh, I like wood veneer on my layouts and also uh, Brembo box also sells wood veneer uh, I saw the surf surfboards mm, I love the, the I love the wood veneer surf, surfboards uh, but for this uh, layout I um, use a wood veneer stars um, I also punch a, a mini circles uh, with the circle points out of the time paper and uh, glue them on my uh, scrapbook layout And um, now it's time to make some splatters with my acrylic ink. Uh, I use a white acrylic ink and I use a black acrylic ink for uh, extra splatters on my work. You, uh, if you don't have acrylic ink, you can al always use acrylic paint and mix with some water and then you can make some uh, splatters on your layout. Um, and I do this with the black and with a white color so we almost there um, for this layout I also use a little tiny word strip it say, says I love us it's a perfect uh, word strip for this layout um, I ruffle the edges of um, distress the edges with my distress tool and um, at the top of my layout I tear it up and put some be design paper behind it and um, after this video I decided to put uh, uh, a design paper behind my layout so um, that was after after the video I decided that um, so I hope you like my video and that you've come up with some great ideas and um, I really enjoyed it to make this video for you and I hope you watch it again next time and are you curious about my work check my insta or my facebook scrappycat097 just josephine okay see you next time bye bye